Welcome, welcome. Let's jump right into it. Here I have some bell peppers and onion. I have some pineapple juice and pineapple chunks. And here I have some chicken tenderloin that I've chopped and well seasoned, okay? This is gonna be orange pineapple chicken. Let's go. Here I'm just tossing my chicken breast in some flour, which I've lightly seasoned with salt and black pepper. I am shaking off as much as the of the flour as I can. As you can see, I don't want a lot of flour to be remaining on it. So I'm just going to do that process until all my chickens are lightly coated. And then I put them in the strainer and try to still shake off some more. Because I just don't want all that flour on my chicken. I don't need all that heaviness on there. Here I have my oil in my wok. And I've added my chicken breast to it. And I'm just going to let them fry up real yummy and crispy and golden brown. Here you can see the first batch is out. They're cooked, they're golden brown, they're yummy, and they're crispy. And what we're cooking again, orange pineapple chicken, okay? As you can see, it is cooked. Okay, so I fried all my chicken. I've removed as much of the oil and I'm adding some minced garlic to my wok and I'm gonna saute that for a bit. Then I'm gonna add my onions first and get that sauteed in first. I'm just getting the onions to separate and I'm gonna chop them. I'm gonna saute them. I should have done that before I put them in the pot, but <laughs> it's still gonna work, okay? Now I'm gonna be adding my bell peppers. I have orange, I have red, I have yellow, I have green. Just for presentation, but you can use whatever bell pepper you have available. So here my veggies have been sauteed and getting translucent, meaning that they are starting to cook and soften up. And I'm about to pour in my pineapple juice with my pineapple chunks and we're going to let that simmer for a bit. So I'm just going to let that pineapple infuse with all that veggie before I add my chicken. Here I'm adding some garlic powder. I'm adding some Mrs. Dash. And all my seasoning are going to always be a teaspoon. Here I'm adding some chipotle season. I'm adding in some honey. And this is the color I have so far. And then I'm coming in with my orange juice. And then I'm going to let that combine well. I did add some ketchup for color not a lot and now I'm going in with my chicken and I'm gonna let the chicken cover in that sauce the reason why I didn't put my chicken on a wire rack because I was gonna put them back in I'm gonna put them in a sauce that is gonna let it be soggy so I didn't need a wire rack for this recipe but if you want to put your chicken on a wire rack feel free to So I'm just combining my chicken so it can be coated with that sauce. I'm telling you, this recipe is so delicious. You can have it by yourself. You can have it with some rice. You can have it with some noodles. 
whatever floats your boat, okay?